When we talk about air travel, most of us think about aircraft that burn jet fuel or 100 octane low lead aviation fuel or avgas. But what about aircraft powered by electricity? With the many fully electric and hybrid concepts and demonstrators in development, electric air travel may still seem like a long way off. But for one Textron e-aviation company, fully electric flying is already a reality. Today we're at EAA Air Venture 2024 and currently standing in front of the Cessna Beechcraft Textron booth and behind me is the Velis Electro. It's currently the world's first and still only type certified fully electric aircraft. It takes about an hour to charge. You have about an hour in the air plus the required reserve when you're flying VFR and as a special treat we're going to go fly it. All right, so we'll do a walk around. And on the, an electric airplane, um, the main difference is that you don't have any oil or fuel to check. Uh, you are still checking the, uh, the tires and the brakes and, and the, the function of the uh, controls. Yep. Um, but the different item that we're checking is the coolant levels. So okay. the motor uh, is cooled, uh, is liquid cooled, and the batteries are liquid cooled. So there's a pump for the motor and there's a pump for the batteries. The battery is here. You have an inverter right here and an axial motor right okay. here. So the motor itself doesn't take up very much. No, right it's very small and it's equivalent to about 80 horsepower. All our planes have a lot of glider technology to them because okay. the company originally made gliders. So you know, the, the carbon composite construction, the flapperons. Oh, so okay. So it's flaps nice. and ailerons all in one. Okay. Now the one feature about the flapperons is at lower speeds, you get a little bit more adverse yaw. So you okay. want to make sure you're on your, your rudder pedals. Okay. Um, but at the same time, you get great control authority. All right, so it handles very well in, in crosswinds. Also from the glider world, you have glider tape for the gap seals. And then there's also this, this is a bit different type of glider tape, but it's still glider tape. Okay. One thing you might hear when we extend the flaps when we're coming into to land, it's going to make a loud noise. Okay. You, you don't have to worry about it. The Basically, motor? if this comes loose a little bit, it acts like a reed. Oh, I see. And okay. then so it yep. starts vibrating. and Like when you put it between your thumbs Exactly, as a kid. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> so it sounds kind of like a, a train horn. Okay. <laughs> So, so it's the, not a the, stall horn. <laughs> no, it's not a stall horn. Okay. So you're going to hear it on the ground, but basically that's all it is. is okay. Do we have a stall horn? Oh yeah. 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 We also have a haptic switch in the, in the stick. So oh, basically cool. a stick shaker. So okay. you get a lot of indication before you're, you're going to stall. Some rules of thumb that we follow. We don't want to take off if we have less than 50% charge. Okay. And we always want to plan to be on the ground by no less than 30%. Okay. Okay, so that's just to maintain the, the normal reserves that you would have. Yeah, so that gives you at least half an hour. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. exactly. So we can pull it out. I'm just gonna need a little bit of help to make sure that the wing's clear. Okay, I don't like this responsibility of making sure the wingtips don't scrape the bricks. <laughs> All right, so to start it up, it's a very simple process. Okay. We're gonna start with the master. You're gonna hear the haptic switch going off. All right, that means okay. it's working. And the FC, which is the uh, computer, is coming up. See, we're 100% charged. Okay. Um, you also see the temperatures of the motor, inverter, and the batteries. This voltage here is for the auxiliary battery underneath the dash. Okay. And when we engage these two uh, switches here, then everything else will come alive. So you can hear the pump going. Okay, so that's giving us cooling. Yeah. All right, so we're at 850 feet here. Right. And now with this switch, the engine is live. So as soon okay. as we, we move this uh, power lever, the prop's gonna start. Amazing. All right, how do you like that? I, I uh, gotcha. You got me loud and clear, all right, cool. 
So altimeters are set. We're going to taxi down to 1-8. All right. And then we'll do our pre-takeoff check, and we'll be on our way. Sounds good. Here we go. All right, switch over. That's amazing. Switch over. All right, so if you want, here, I'm just gonna check my brakes. My brakes are good. All right, if you want, you can practice taxiing. Sure. Okay, uh, stay to the right here so, so we stay clear of the hangers. There's okay. plenty of the room on the right, and your controls. We have RPMs on the left, we have kilowatts on the right, so you can think of kilowatts as manifold pressure. Okay. And this endurance timer changes with uh, your kilowatts. So right now at one kilowatt, we've got an hour and one minute. Okay. When we take off, it's probably going to drop to like 20 minutes. Okay, right. But then when you're in cruise, so it But when we're in cruise, again. it'll go up to maybe 45 minutes gotcha. or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And like I say, for the takeoff, you know, just follow me on the controls. Okay, sure. It's so bizarre that it just... Exactly, yeah. Not. So if there's is there a run-up? So the run-up, all it is, so when we're, we can do it now, but usually I do it uh, as we're taking the runway okay. or when we're taking off. As long as we're developing 50 kilowatts, we're good to go. Okay. So if we don't develop it, we just abort for developing it. We, we continue. Okay. Okay. And is there, does it show, oh, it's going to show. The it's going to show right there. It's yeah. also going to show right in front of you here. Okay. All right. So flaps one, trim is neutral, uh, circuit breakers are in, we got enough power. We've got our um, transponder on, and we're on the correct frequency. Okay. So we'll shut the doors here. Okay. And then we'll just yeah rotate it like that. We got three pins in the door. We're good. Okay. This does this come up or we're oh that's a lock. That's the locker okay. from exterior from the outside. All right, and we're good to go. Brennan traffic, Zealous Electro departing runway 18 will be a westbound departure. Brennan. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Brennan traffic, Electro departing 18 will be a right turn out to the west, Brennan. Here we go. Hey. Oh, wow, that's a lot of power. It's a lot of power, right? Yeah. So at about 45 knots, she's going to lift off. There we go. I'm going to stay low just for Stay low for Dan. Stay low for Dan. That's good. We passed him already. Nice. All right. Climbing out at 60 knots. Wow. Nice. Okay. I'm going to bring this power back a little bit into the yellow. Okay. Go easier on the battery. Yep. And then eventually I'll bring it back a little bit more. See if we can pick it up at a new bridge. Copy that. And uh, when I was talking to Gabriel, he said we're we're about uh, what 60 dB in here, something like that. Yep, that's right. I guess mostly what we're hearing is the, the propeller, propeller noise and the uh, cooler behind us, right? Yeah, exactly. So when you hear it from the ground, I like to describe it as a very quiet turboprop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, you're just hearing the spin up of the propeller. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay. You can take control. And we're going to stay at... Uh, we'll stay at 1,900. 1900. Yeah, okay. below two, just below 2,000 feet. Okay, I have control. Your controls. My controls. You can just uh, direct me on where we want to go here. Yeah, we'll continue straight a little bit. There's a highway. Uh, we'll go to about the highway, and then we can do, you know, some 360s. Okay, sounds good. Get a feel for the plane. If you feel the pedals a little bit stiff, just... Feel free to mash them, loosen okay. them up, get a feel for it. Yeah, it did feel a little stiff taxiing. Yeah. I had to really, probably why I kept going to the left there. Gotcha. You know, towards the hangars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly where you want to be. <laughs> it, it's really comfortable. It is, right? Yeah. Not a lot to it, but it's comfortable. Let's stop that climb there. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, the ailerons or the flapperons are push-pull tubes. Okay. So it's immediate input, great oh. feedback. Yeah, we can bring the power back just yeah. in here. 
So what's a good uh, 21, 20, 20 to 21, 21. probably okay. 20 to uh, if we're, and then if we're in the descent. Um, yeah, we'll um, yeah, we can bring it back to 15 and even at one point when we get a beam the numbers in the pattern, I just bring it to idle and if I do it right, I'm just gliding all the way in. Nice, awesome. And when it windmills, Yep. Does it win? It must if it's free. Yep. Uh, does it do any regenerative? Uh, it, it'll generate maximum three kilowatts. So it's, you okay. know, they, they might be able to tune it to regenerate, but the thing is, you're not, uh, it's not efficient. You're not. Um, is it, it's net, you're inducing net, more net. drag than. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's inducing yeah. more drag than, than you're getting out of it. So net, net, you're better off just keeping it neutral. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're pretty clear here. If you want to do uh, like some clearing turns and then do, you know, just some 360s, S turns. Yeah, sure. Whatever you, whatever you want to get a feel for the plane. Sure. All right. We look like we're clear to the left here, so we'll okay. try to turn to the left. Okay. My left hand turns are always worse somehow. <laughs> and uh, I'll just assume that you've still got the radios. Yeah, I, I got the radios. Okay. Actually, I'm going to listen to Appleton ground Natus. Your in the parking area. Contact ground on one Watch out for uh, only when carbon cubs and stuff. Yeah, and bombers. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's nice if there's if it's not too bumpy. It's it likes to like you know yeah. it likes to just go where you put it. Yeah. Do you have anything in the airplane that gives you uh, winds? No, not in this one. Okay. So in our Alpha Trainer, which is the Rotax powered one, we have a G3X, and you can get all that information in there. Okay. Uh, it even has an uh, an autopilot, and you can shoot coupled approaches, and <laughs> so it's great for oh, that's training. Pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. The way we configure it, it qualifies as a technically advanced aircraft, so you can use those hours uh, towards your commercial. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's really amazing. Yep. And it'd be a lot cheaper. Yep, absolutely, and that's that's the whole idea, you know, make training accessible to more people. Yep. What would be one of your favorite things to do when you're flying this? You obviously love sharing it with people. I love sharing it with people. I love flying at this altitude, you know, at a lower altitude because the visibility is fantastic. So you get to look outside. Yep. Um, it's it's really good. Uh, I like the the feel of the airplane. Uh, I I've come to love the center stick. Okay. Um, when I learned to fly, most of my flying career has been on you know, yoke aircraft, but I really love the center stick now. It's great. I just rest my hand on my thigh, and then you're yeah, flying it. That's with what like I found myself doing here. Two fingers, you know? Yep. Um, with the push-pull tubes, the feedback is instantaneous, so you can really tell what the airplane's doing. Yeah. Got over here. Oh, that's a seagull, maybe. Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah? Okay. Famous last words, I think we're okay. I think we're okay, <laughs> yeah. No, the vi yeah, it's right there. Yeah, and we can head back and do a few in the in the pattern yeah, if you sure, want. Yeah, sure, that'd be great. Okay. Um, I'll just uh, go put this in here so we know what our distance is. Oh, okay. If you head straight west, just follow the roads. Yep. And then we're going to... IFR? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I follow roads, that's, that's right. Um, and then it... It's going to bring us nicely to enter on a 45. Okay, great. And, and, and pattern altitude is 1,800. So. Okay. The throttle's just so easy. Yeah. Yeah. And you're doing it the right way. Basically, I, I do the same thing. I brace my hand, and then I'm yep. just making okay. small changes. Hey, Brennan Traffic. Electro's uh, two and a half miles to the west at 1,800, entering a midfield left crosswind, 1-8, Brennan. I'll fly, and you just let me know when you want to take over. Okay. I'll feel right at home doing an overhead uh, mid, yeah. mid downwind entry. Right. So there's Appleton right there to our left. Okay. And off to our right. Oh, nice. A little bit farther is Oshkosh, is Whitman Field. Okay. Right wow. down there. Hey, Brennan Traffic. Electro's midfield left crosswind, 1-8, Brennan. Jumping in the air, Pulaski traffic jumping in the air. All right, so let's turn downwind. Brennan traffic, electro turning left downwind, 1-8, Brennan.
Okay, let me talk you through this one. So okay. when you're ready, take control. All right, I have controls. Your controls. So when we get to beam the numbers, uh, we're going to go just bring the lever all the way back. Okay. Um, and below 81 knots, we'll go flaps one. Below 81 knots, all right. Okay. Here we go, beam the numbers. Okay. And we're just going to hold the nose up to... Yeah, there so we we're, we're already there, so you're good. And then, you know, just maintain 65. Okay. So whenever you think you're At the ready, road, maybe? Yep, let's do that. There you go. And we'll just pitch the nose down a bit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Brennan traffic, Electro, left base, 1-8, Brennan. The, is the plus 2, is that the flaps 2 position? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So flaps 2 is below uh, 65 knots. Okay. So what we can do is, since we're doing that low flyby, we can maintain flaps 1. Okay, that sounds all good. All right? Yep. And we'll maintain roughly this airspeed. Okay. okay. Yep. And altitude, uh, clear on the right. Yeah, clear. Whoop. Yeah, Let's you're not good. Do that. Brennan traffic, Electro's uh, final, 1-8 Brennan. All right. So, Fine. yeah, we'll keep the power all the way out. Yeah, you got it good. And just keep it coming in. We don't have to worry too much about our approach speed since we're... Okay. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. Power at some point here. Yeah, right about here is good. Yeah, let's go. Burning traffic, Electro's on the go, 1-8, left post traffic, Brennan. All right, wow. let's climb up. Nice. So this one will be a full stop. We're going to fall below 50%. So it's fine now, but okay. for takeoff later, I we'll want to make sure that we're on the ground. Yep. that and then for shutting down it's simply big thanks to our pilot Anthony from Lincoln Park Aviation to Textron E Aviation and to Pipstrel it's been Jason from Infinite Flight and we'll see you in the next one this will be perfect so when we hook it up, we're going to hear that same toothbrush motor go off again. Right. And that tells like us that it's in here connecting or in, here? in the airplane. Oh, okay. So that, that little haptic switch, is that's your stick shaker, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, here we go. So you're going to hear it in a second. There you go. Nice. So now that turns on the, uh, the computer. And then when you see this display here, then you know it's ready to charge. Okay. Okay. Once we press the charge button on the charger, this is gonna display the number of amps that the charger is sending and the number that the batteries are accepting. Okay. And the charge level of the battery.